Welcome back to Metal Magic. Today we're going to talk about Clecos. Hi, I'm Paul Dye. One of the things that, that we have to worry about when we're building metal airplanes is holding pieces together when we're not finished. Temporarily attaching one piece of metal to another. And we have a special tool for that. It's called the Clico. The Clico is a little temporary fastener which has a, a piece up the middle and two little barbs on the side. You compress it so that it'll go through a hole. When you release it, it opens back up or it, it tightens back up and it clamps your pieces together. Clecos actually come in a couple of different flavors. This is the standard Cleco and they come in different sizes depending upon the diameter of hole you're going to use. The other thing we have is the Cleco clamp. It uses the same kind of action but it's just a, a clamp which will temporarily clamp two pieces together until you have a hole that you can put the other kind of Cleco into to keep them uh, in position. The thing to worry about Cleco clamps is these are extremely tight. These will create a blood blister in in nothing flat, so be very careful with them. Another kind of Cleco is the wingnut Cleco. These generally are used when you have a very thick piece of a stack up, like you're building a spar or something like that, and you have more than just a couple of pieces of sheet metal. And, and you don't use the, the pliers for them, you use this little wingnut to tighten them up. So these are very useful to have, but you don't, use to have to, you don't need to have a lot of them. So let's go through how we take and, and use the Clecos. If we want to join these two pieces of metal, we have a flange and we have a, a piece of sheet. We've got some pre-drilled holes in this one. We're going to clamp these together first using the, the, the Cleco clamps. And we're going to use that lining up, the, lining up our holes, lining up our lines. And they're very, very tight. That's what they're designed to do. So we'll put a clamp on either end. And then we're going to drill a hole. So we are all set up here with our air drill. We'll drill a hole. And we're going to put one of the regular Clecos in that hole. We'll need the, the dash three size. And now those pieces are tightly located, at least in that location. We're going to drill another hole randomly in our line of hole. Put another Cleco in there. And now we can take the clamps off entirely. These two pieces are nicely joined. They're all lined up. And we can drill all the rest of the holes that we have. And the Clecos are holding them together. We'll leave those in there until we either have to upsize the holes, deburr the holes, dimple the holes, whatever you need to do. They come right, out, right back out and, uh, and then we can proceed with riveting. So that's the, the, the simple element of the Cleco. Um, you're going to need them by the hundreds, if not the thousands, if you build a, a metal airplane. The more Clecos you have, the easier the job. Um, but at some point, having too many Clecos just gets in the way. You'll generally want AN3 or AD3 Clecos. These are 3 seconds and eighth inch Clecos. That'll do the majority of most, uh, most small, light uh, metal airplanes. And then when you buy wingnut Clecos, you just want a few in each size. Um, and a lot of the modern kits, you don't need those at all. So one of the questions that comes up is, where do you get Clecos? Well, of course you can buy them at, at all the good uh, tool supplies, aircraft tool supply companies, and they'll sell them to you by the hundreds. But there are an awful lot of Clecos out there, we call them free range Clecos, that, that you can buy from previous builders who aren't gonna build another airplane, they've got bins and bins of hundreds of them. Um, and, and another trick is to simply borrow them because once you own 500 or 600 Clecos and you're done with your airplane, there's no reason for them to sit in a closet. They can go to some other builder and be used. Now, Clecos do wear out. They can get bent. Uh, once you start bending them, they don't work very well. Uh, if they get rusty, because they are steel, then you need to clean them up. A lot of times people will take and put their Clecos in a bucket, spray them full of WD-40, put the lid on and just park them that way until they have to get used again. One trick we use in our air park here, where we have numerous airplane builders, is that everybody has a color. And I don't think these particular set of Clecos do, but everybody takes a little dab of paint, and our color for our house is red, 
And so every one of our Clecos has a little red dot on it. That way everybody knows where the Clecos go when they're done with them. So that's the basics of Clecos. Next time we're going to talk about laying out more holes and uh, putting in some rivets.